the uh, incidence of Karbala definitely uh, it draws a very distinct line between the righteousness and the evil power. Those who are following the batil and evil. So definitely, uh, there is uh, a great lesson from everybody for the for, for, for the humanity at large. My question is uh, next question is uh, how do you relate this the, the incidents of Karbala to our modern world? that has been struggling to prevail peace uh, and just in the global community of which we have been witnessing a volumetric bloodshed, a massacre, genocide, atrocities, ethnic cleansing, and social and political and economical chaos all over the world and unrest. Will there be a peace and just in the world uh, if the message of Karbala becomes known to the world from the humanitarian basis, not from that of religious. What well, message can we get from how we get the guideline from the incidents of Karbala? I think what happens in the world today, uh, people um, engage in massacres and humanity is suffering everywhere. Personally, I believe there is no solution for that, except for, for all it to end, perhaps it could, it could be mitigated, it could be lessened, than what it is today, but it will, these things will keep uh, happening because always there is power, there is money, and there are people who want to attain power and pay, attain money, and they're willing to do anything for that purpose. And once they have attained it, then they are they are willing to do anything in order to maintain power and influence and money and treasures. So th th this thing is not going to end. And this thing, this thing is not going to lessen because the, the formula for this is there. The for, what is that formula? The formula is people are, there are a lot of people who are blind to power and they are blind when they see power and they see money, they become blind and they're, they're willing to commit any atrocity for that purpose. Uh, so, but it's when it's going to end, I think there is no other solution for this except what Islam promotes and what Christianity promotes and what Judaism promotes. And that is that a Messiah has to come. We all believe in the Messiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the final day, we Muslims believe Jesus comes and Imam Mahdi alayhi salam comes and they will be brothers and they will and they will introduce and teach humanity that they the mankind do not have the right to rule over one another. They do not have the right to be master of one another. The only master is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rightful leaders of humanity, Jesus and Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu was salam. So I think that except that there is no other solution for these, uh, for these things. And these sufferings will keep happening until mankind realizes that, that the, because the formula is very simple, without the divine leadership, Without that leadership who's divine, who is infallible, who's perfect, who has knowledge um, and understanding of uh, a thorough knowledge and all encompassing knowledge of humanity in humanity's problems and has solutions leaderful as such that, that as Jesus alayhi salam and as Imam al Mahdi alayhi salam, until that day and that until that leadership. What ha what keeps happening is is uh, as I said, there's power, there's money, there are, there is uh, there's luxury, and people will do anything to gain that. And there will be people who have gained it. They will keep do anything in order to maintain it. So that obviously, that's that's that formula gives rise to bloodshed, to massacres, and to suffering. And that's a never ending cycle. Keeps will keep happening and happening and happening. Until we all turn from fake leaders, from fake masters, to the real masters. And that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah's guides. Yeah. Until that, that we come to understand that there is no other solution for this. For world peace, for humanity, to live in a, in a in tranquility of brotherhood and love and peace. I, I think there is no other solution for that. Yeah. Because... Worldly leaders, what happens is, first of all, their knowledge is not enough to solve mankind's problems. So they're going to lead you to where? 
the poli- how, today, who leads the world? The world, the humanity, politicians. Politicians, a lot, lim- knowledge is very limited. They don't know what are the solutions to mankind's problems. But someone who has divine knowledge, Allah has given all knowledge that humanity needs. Of course, he, he can lead you. He can lead you to where uh, your problems would be solved. That's the first problem with um, uh, politicians. Second pro- problem with politicians is that they're hungry for more power and they're hungry for more money and they're willing to do anything for it. And w- with that, with, 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 with these elements, there'll be always conflict, always um, killing, always suffering. Yeah. May Allah bless you. And Imam Hussain alayhi salam, Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt there. Uh, always, Hazrat Zahra salamullah alayha, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam, when they spoke of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, they also spoke of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. They Absolutely. always spoke it. We always spoke about Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, when they spoke of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. That Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam will be killed, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him will uh, bring a, a leader from his offspring who will fill the earth with justice, with tranquility, with brotherhood. Yes, brother. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, because yeah, I see that. I mean, this is not just like we have been witnessing a lot of atrocities, unjust uh-huh. and uh, massacre in the world, wars and whatnot, because uh, they have their own interests. They have their own benefits involved in it. That's why the justice distorted and, and, and could not be uh, prevail just or just a system in this world unless it is uh, guided by the divine. 